Hey everybody, it's Izzy Noodles. Welcome back to more Calm Before the Storm. Now, this is the final part, and once we've got the second mystery hand, it's actually not too difficult. So, previously, I picked up the first mystery hand from that left hand room, and now I'm going to come into the right hand room to pick up the second one. Okay, so the gate has closed behind us, and you can actually see the mystery hand right there. So, this room can kind of stump you. It's actually pretty easy. It can take a while to figure out to start with, but it's pretty easy. Um, yes, we've got these columns with skulls and crossbones. Some of them are safe, and some of them are not. The ones in front of the faces are not safe. So you want to jump on the ones that are not in front of the faces. So this first one, and then that one over here, this one, and then these next two in front are not safe. So they're both in front of different faces. So let's take a look around. We can actually come to this one straight in front now. Okay, and if we have another look around for the next safe one, that actually really isn't one, but there is a trick. You can grab the edge of a non-safe one. So we actually want to run and jump to that one at the wall right in front of that face, but grab in the air, and you can hold on to the edge without burning up and dying. So shimmy round and climb up into this doorway. At the end here there is a door, but it's closed for now. It will open once we've picked up the mystery hand. And here we've got quite a tedious jump to make, so I do highly recommend that you save, because it's going to take some practice to get your angle right. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> and you do need to do a running jump and not a half tile jump for that because you don't get the same distance with a half tile jump. So now jump and grab the edge of this again, shimmy along, and you may have heard the door open. Okie dokie. In we come and we will get a huge flyby. Okay, so that flyby made it look really huge. It's actually not that difficult to grasp the area. Uh, we firstly got this door. This is a return path, so just ignore that. We've got a section up to the right hand side. We've got a section straight ahead, which the flyby didn't really show us. And the flyby also didn't show us this section here. Now let's have a look. So just here, you can see through the gap there is a big spider. 
Huge! Roll up a newspaper, kill it! <laughs> you got some scary music too. So let me just demonstrate what happens when you come into here unprepared. So crawl on in and let's see what happens. Nom nom nom. That is instant death. <laughs> no matter what your health is, the spider will kill you. So do you remember that one demon monk guy that killed that spider? He must have been one hardcore dude. Anyway, so firstly, up there is the pantry. We need a key for the pantry, so we need to actually come up the stairs here first. Just on the right, we have a small med pack hanging from this chain. Excuse me, chain. <laughs> so in here, we've got quite a fiery situation. So yeah, don't jump just there. I think that talks uh, speaks for itself. <laughs> Coming into the left, what do we have? Lara will stare at that one scarecrow. So just here you can see through the window the right hand snake has a key in its mouth that is the pantry key we need to grab a block from that room in there to bring here so that we can climb up and grab the key but this scarecrow is in the way that's the deal with the scarecrow we need to have it pushed back but the gem at the base of his stick is actually stopping it moving we need to shoot the gem so yeah we just want him out of the way this ram's head is a lever, this will open that door. And also, let me just point out, I forgot to say this, I was going to say this. Uh, that room you can see in there, uh, we saw that, I can't remember whether it was part one or two, I forget, <laughs> but I think it was part one. Um, we threw the torch down the pit, and uh, when we fell down ourselves, there was a room with two white doors and one grey door. This room was behind one of the white doors and did not have any significance whatsoever. I probably don't even remember this room. But anyway, you can see that and if you looked through here, this was the room you could see. So that's, that's quite cool. So now I've opened the gate using the ram's head lever, I will now get this scarecrow out of the way. So we need to shoot that gem, so we need to be low down, so come back through this way. And you want to be just low enough in the water so that she can duck and then shoot that. Okay, so it has given a camera angle here if you were looking around and didn't know what was occurring. Um, this is kind of a hint. So you just want to shoot at the gem. Oh, there we go. And you can climb straight out. So now he is out of the way. So we just need to grab a block. Um, shall I get this now? I can, I can never work out whether to get this now or not. I'm here now. I've run over to it. So this right hand gargoyle has a mystery key in its mouth. This is only for a secret. If you're not bothered about secrets, you don't need to grab that key. But anyway, come on in. The block we need to grab the pantry key is right here. Oh, turn please. Nope. <laughs> Stop. Oh, 
Alrighty, jump up, grab the key. Nice. So now for the secret. So come through here and down in this section you see there is a hatch and there is an odd tile next to the hatch. This cross here can be moved. What we want to do is move it down onto the odd tile and then that face will lift up and reveal the keyhole so we can use the mystery key which will open that hatch. Let's do this. There's also flares underneath this cross. <coughs> and this cross also has the bug slash glitch where you, if you continue pushing you will actually keep pushing it while standing up in the air. <laughs> I won't do it this time though. Okie dokie, up on down. So this is the last secret of the game and our last rose is being held by this dude here. Were you expecting it or did it scare you? <laughs> I was expecting it, to be honest, but it still scared me. <laughs> So we have two ways out, there's the way we came, and also we could pull this lever, which opens a door down here. And this is the return door that I pointed out, so here we are, back here. So now we've got the pantry key, we can go up and use this, so come up this way. And you can actually see through the window that where we got that secret, so I love in this game that um, it often shows you a secret through a window, but you have to figure out how to get there. So that's quite cool. Alrighty, come on in. And one of these things is not like the other. It's quite obvious. So we just want to use this block, pull it out twice, in order to jump up and grab that odd meat. And yes, there seems to be a body <laughs> inside the crate. So this is the smelly meat we're going to use to distract the spider. So now let's come on in and use it. Ooh. So come to this side and we do have this gap in the wall, so just interact with this and you will have the option to use the smelly meat, lob it on in, and the spider will come and gobble it up. So now he's distracted, we can come in, and I'm quite certain you are not on a timer here, the spiders actually never come to get me. So I think, um, well I think, I'm quite certain you can take your time here and you can obviously see a small med pack hanging in the cobwebs. Continue through, you will need to duck down just here. Oh, forward, forward please. What are you doing? She seems to be stuck. Hmm, that's annoying. Why is she stuck? <laughs> I've got a feeling I'm going to have to reload now because she's not doing anything. Like, she won't even draw her weapons. She won't go forward, but she'll spin. She'll turn. We she can look. Looking's okay. <laughs> Alright, well, where did I save then? Oh, Gonna be ages away.
Alrighty, I had quite a few technical difficulties along the way there. But I think we're back now, I think we're fine. <laughs> so, carefully try and crawl through here. I don't know what on earth happened, but it happened again somewhere else. Like, she just would not move. The controls were just completely stuck. She was actually squatting down, shooting forever. <laughs> she wouldn't stop shooting. So, um, yeah, all is good now. So come on over to here where there is this bright light and we've actually got a ladder as well. Okay, and we've got a blade trap down a slope. So you can do this very easily without taking damage, you just need to line yourself up. Uh, if you have a look at the lines at the very bottom on this wall, you want to be next to this line. So let me just sidestep so you can see. So if you see where the slope starts and you've got that little section, you've got a line there above Lara's head on the wall at the, at the lowest point and a line just by her foot. So by this line is where you want to be. Uh, I might be a little bit too far forward, but we will see. <laughs> So you just want to jump forward and you actually want to hold jump so she will jump down this slope because there is a second blade at the bottom. Beautiful. Alrighty. So now we're back here, we can place our two mystery hands. Look at him, he just wants a hug. And this guy too. Free hugs all around, but Lara just isn't interested. Poor guys. So, placing the two mystery hands has opened the main gate up the top here. And once we enter through the gate, we will actually get that wicked ace flyby that is used in the intro. So close yet so far. So, firstly, I'm going to point out that block. We actually want to run all the way around to the other side to pull that block so it reveals a timed lever. So, the time is actually pretty long. We've got quite a distance to go, and it's actually all the way around to where we're going to pull the block out <laughs> is where we want to end the timer. So, a helpful hint here. In a lot of TRLEs, if you are sprinting and hit deep water, you will continue to sprint. So this is a thing you will definitely need to know. So... Also, at this jump, 
I believe there's actually two ways to get over here, but I can't remember the other one. I just always use the route that I will be taking today. Uh, you want to take one step back because you otherwise you will be too close to do a running jump to the, uh, this next slope. Also, continue to hold jump. And again, grab this. So on the last tile space, pull up, flip and turn. And don't jump too soon there, otherwise she won't make it to this. So the black rose that we came all the way here for is through that gate. But we need to open the gate. So, continuing along, we will still be under the timer by this point. And this bit is the worst bit for me, I just hate this bit. You need to grab <laughs> that but you've got this slope in front of you in the way. So for me, if I fail, this is most likely going to be the place to fail. Okay. So this is kind of helpful that it's showing you the path that you will take for the timer. So here, when you're at the end, pull up and flip and turn and veer to the left. It's very important that you veer, otherwise you'll just fall down. Continue through. Be careful at this rock, because random boulder is random. So, also under the timer. You will need to jump up here. Uh. and then jump up again and oh, well you need to grab the ceiling the timer is that gate up there so you need at least 16 seconds from when you grab the monkey bars so you'll come out there so the timer is that it stops once you get through the gate so once you're through the gate you're not timed but the jump switch there is what will open the gate leading to the black rose so it's just also this bit that will take some practice. <laughs> well, you see, I'm messing up already. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's... Nope. Well, I usually get it pretty good under pressure, so <laughs> let's yellow it. So the reason we need to... Whoops come over here the main thing we need to do is pull the block so this will give access to that timed lever and the shortcut back is just over here So for the actual timer, I probably won't be saying very much because I'll be concentrating, but I did explain some of it as I was going through anyway. Stop running. <laughs> Okie doke. So just here, we pulled the block back and here is the lever. <clears throat> Gather my myself, compose myself. Here we go. So to start with, just turn and run normally. When you're around this rock, then you can sprint. Don't jump too soon, remember. I suppose you can save at certain intervals, <laughs> I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Go Laura, go! Yes! 
I'm doing good, so you need at least 16 seconds when you grab the monkey bars. Like, every time I've practiced, I've messed up at that slope, I just keep sliding down the slope. But then on the run, I do it spot on. <laughs> on the first go, so that's pretty, pretty good. <laughs> So now you're here, you will want to save, to save doing that again. Because yeah, you can still mess up. You've got a slope here, you need to slide a little bit down the slope in order to grab these monkey bars again. There we go. So the reason you can't just, you know, come all the way across the monkey bars is you've got that beam going straight across, which blocks it off. So come to the jump switch. And the gate is open. So in this section you can grab a revolver. So in front of these this epic statue. If you look down, we've got some spikes. We want to get rid of them. You can use this boulder to just crush them all, get them out of the way. Just try and push it into the hole. So the revolver is down in that gap. And I feel certain that you don't want to touch this boulder while it's moving. I might be wrong, but I'm quite certain this is one of those. I mean, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time, that's the case. But I played Temple of Shiva recently and accidentally touched the boulder, and I did not die. So that was odd. <laughs> so, the spikes have been removed. Come on down, you've got a left and a right. So on the left there is this massive revolver that looks like it's from Who Framed Roger Rabbit or something. It is huge. And directly opposite, on the right hand side, you've got some revolver ammo. And yep, now I'm gonna <laughs> cut back to picking up the black rose. <laughs> and the gate is open. So the fastest route, and the most, the most direct route is straight over, but we actually need to use the shortcut. Actually, now I think about it, I think it's probably equal distance. I don't know. <laughs> but do these jumps again. Luckily you don't need to do all of them, just this section. And come on in! Oh my goodness, we're almost there. So just on the right hand side behind the snakes, you can jump over and at the end there is a large med pack. So I mentioned earlier on in the game that we have a boss battle. There have been no enemies but we do have a boss battle. So keeping up with, um, you know, the, the no meds, even though this is not a no meds, I will still like to try and do all the games that I play with minimal meds, even if I will have to use one. So it's long winded, takes a while, and it starts as soon as you pick up the black rose. So I'm going to equip my, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Right. <laughs> By the time you're watching this, um, yeah, there were, you'd see me pick up the revolver because I forgot to pick it up. <laughs> so, yep, just gonna slide that in. Oh, 
Alrighty. <laughs> so I think I already mentioned that uh, even though this is not a nomad game, I will still try and use minimal meds. So you can get through this without using any, and that's what I intend to do. Oh, this section, I mean. <laughs> get through this section. So, before I pick up the rose, I will equip my revolver. And I find that it actually is... It gets in the way. It annoys me, but I will just yellow through the bullets anyway, just because I've got it. So I'm going to save. And let's pick up the rose. Boss battle is imminent. So you've got these two Hydra heads that are shooting fire. Oh, it got me. And you've got the, um, the skull, you can just see. So you want to shoot the Hydra heads. Not easy. I think you need to shoot them like 10 times each. And also, you don't want the skull to find you. It's actually quite blind, <laughs> so you'll be alright. Whoa. So yeah, this revolver is useless. And because this is so long-winded, I actually will just skip through. So that beam was what the skeleton does, the skull, so that's instant death. And I will just speed all this up.
Okay, one is down. Whoop. No. I'm messing up. <laughs> okay, what I'm trying to do is stand here. Well, and when the school sees you, just get out of the way. <laughs> also, when the Hydra starts shooting, get out of the way. So, you know, that skull is pretty blind. It's looking right at me. Like, did, did I just think... No, no, it couldn't have been. He's looking right at me. <laughs> So you may have noticed, you know, the targeting is not perfect. You miss a lot. So you might be able to see why I prefer to not use the revolver. Man, there we go. Nice. Okie dokie, so now we can leave. So I hope you've enjoyed Calm Before the Storm. I definitely have. It's been a little bit gruesome, but I will see you next time.